We are making risotto with cod. The ingredients we're going to need is codfish, risotto, mushrooms, a fresh onion, fresh garlic, thyme, diced tomatoes, Parmesan cheese, basil, salt, dried onion, dried garlic, olive oil, and some white wine. We're gonna dice the mushrooms. I like them a little small so that way when you take the bite of the risotto, it's always gonna be a piece of mushrooms there. We are having a fry pan here. We're gonna put uh, three tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna turn on the heat between medium and low. And then we're gonna add the mushrooms. Be sure the olive oil goes everywhere. So the three cups of mushrooms. Right now we just have the olive oil and the mushrooms. We're gonna let the mushrooms cook down to get nice and soft and brown. And then we're gonna add the onions and the garlic. We're gonna turn the heat to medium right now. With the mushrooms, I'm gonna add one fourth of a teaspoon of thyme. I like the thyme because it gives the mushrooms a nice rich taste. We have a medium sweet onion. I'm gonna dice it when the mushrooms are cooking. So we're putting the onions with the mushrooms. We are using four fresh garlic. We're making a nice sound. Now we're adding the fresh garlic. And we're gonna add one fourth of a cup white wine. So we have a can of diced tomatoes. We're just gonna put it right on the top. We're gonna spread the tomatoes. We let it cook down and we're gonna add one fourth of a teaspoon of dry basil. One fourth of dry basil. We're gonna let the tomatoes and the mushrooms and the onions, the garlic, the white wine to cook down. Then we're gonna add the risotto. We are going to add one cup of risotto. We're gonna let it cook for a couple of minutes together with the vegetables. And then we're gonna add a cup of hot water. We're already boiling the water. So we're gonna use the hot water right with the risotto. And you're gonna see all the liquid is gonna disappear. When the liquid disappears, then we have to add the water. We are ready to add the water. We're in one cup of hot water. The heat can be between medium and high. We're gonna keep stirring it till the water disappears. In the meantime, we have our oven preheating to 400. So you can see right now the risotto, it looks good. The water is almost disappear. So you just gotta be sure you give it a good mix. Don't let it get burned. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a cup of water, hot water. We're gonna let the water sizzle, and when the water gets uh, simmer, we're gonna put it right in the oven. We're gonna do one and a half teaspoon of salt. You see, you see now the risotto, the water is, is simmering. We're just gonna put it right in the oven for 15 minutes to bake. The oven is ready. It goes in 15 minutes. A tablespoon of olive oil, we're gonna brush the bake pan where we're gonna bake the cod. We have the cod right here. We're gonna brush it with some olive oil.
we're gonna sprinkle some onion powder, some garlic, dry garlic, some salt to your taste. Flip the fish, brush more olive oil on the top. So we use one tablespoon of olive oil to brush the tray and to brush the fish. Dry onion on the top, sprinkle, dry garlic, and we're just gonna put it in the oven for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes, we're gonna take out the risotto. Please be sure when you take out the risotto, you have a glove so you don't burn yourself. Where we need to do, still the risotto. Okay, we wanna see how the risotto is. Wow, it's very good. So what we need to do is add the cut. Oh, the cut looks beautiful. I'm gonna put the cut right on the top. We're just gonna crush it together with the risotto. The risotto is cooked all the way. Usually the risotto is not cooked, then you can add a little more hot water and just cook it for a little bit. But the way we did the risotto right now, it's perfect. It's not overcooked, it's a little al dente. Usually I make this risotto with lobster, but I really feel like the cod, it has a nice sweet taste, it's not fishy. So right now we have the risotto, we have the cod. I would like to add a shredded Parmesan cheese, one cup. Okay, we're just gonna sprinkle it on the top. Oh, it looks delicious. Just gonna mix it. I cannot wait to eat it. it looks really good. It's a good day in the neighborhood. Always a good day, it's a great day in the neighborhood. Yeah. So today we made the risotto with codfish and uh, you watched me making it. And it's one of my favorite recipes. Usually I make a lobster risotto. But you know what happens with lobster? It's like, it's expensive. And it, you don't get a lot of fish, actually, a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. So with cod, I feel like the cod, it has a really good taste. It gives you more value for your money. You can eat it every day. So maybe you try it and you let me know what do you think. Let me know right now. Great taste, lots of flavor. You can taste a little bit of everything. I saw you making it. You didn't use any chicken stock, which I see them making risotto all the time, and butter. And again, I like risotto. To me, it just seems very hard to make. I don't wanna to add too much butter, or the, I wouldn't mind adding my own chicken stock if I made it, but I don't wanna buy this, make, use the store-bought chicken stock. This is delicious without that. How do you do this? I always try to make it better, so that way you can eat it more often. So when you have a meal like this, you know, you don't have the butter, like you say, you don't have the chicken stuff. So what we use, we use the mushrooms, we use, we use onions, we use fresh garlic, we use the cut, we use the risotto. So it's all good ingredients. And um, the another thing is, did you ever try to make risotto? Never tried. I saw a friend of mine making it once and it just seemed like too much, too much time, stirring, waiting, let it bubble, you don't want it to overcook. It just seemed too much and too hard. That's the reason why I made it. It's like I give you the steps and you see what happens. We use the cup of risotto, you use the hot water, you stir it, you know, to the water disappears. Then we add another cup of, of water, we let it simmer, then you throw it in the oven. You know, it can be 400, depends what oven you have. You can do 375, 380, 400. You let it there for 12 minutes, 15 minutes, Hey, look at this, it's a perfect risotto. Absolutely perfect and delicious. I think anybody delicious. can make this. You put the cod in the oven and the cod cooked for 12 minutes and it's perfectly done. Yeah, I think 
people should I love cut, you know, it just has the right flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not very fishy. Yeah. It's rich and it has good protein. Yeah, it's great, great fish to eat. Great thanks, job. Thanks for sharing a good meal with you, Paul. Thank you always.